Half of Malawi was hit by the worst floods on record in 2015. Over one million people were affected. Almost 300 people were killed or went missing, and more than 370,000 were displaced. Floods are a constant threat in Malawi. Over the past six months, almost 100,000 people have been affected by meteorological disasters. Hello. The flood alert is launched. A member of Chapala Village's civil protection receives a call from the closest upstream village, where the level of water on River Lunguena has grown dangerously. <laughs> Residents such as Enelis evacuate fast, but with no panic mainly because this is only a simulation, but also because they have been prepared for months by the Italian NGO Copy on how to anticipate, react and recover in case of floods. The early warning system between the upstream and downstream villages is part of the disaster risk management system implemented by Copy and financed by the EU Humanitarian Aid Office. In less than one hour, all the residents have reached the shelter area two kilometres upstream. What I've learned today will stay with me forever. We put up a tent ourselves and the whole community knows that this school area is the right place to come to in case of flood. The Mangochi district, where the village is located, was severely hit by the 2015 floods. Many lost houses, crops and animals. The NGO says the multiple risks faced by the population were among the challenges of the project. The area of Lunguena is subject to flood risk, drought risk and protracted dry periods. Our aim is to prepare the population to monitor the events that might hit them. One big part of our work has been supporting the community, creating local civil protection committees. This mark indicates we're on the evacuation route of the village. This path has been identified via a project that matches the latest geographic mapping technologies with local knowledge. The NGO is using drones to create a database indicating vulnerabilities and hazards in Mangochi and Nsanje, two districts with the highest flood potentials in Malawi. The project will end up mapping 16,000 hectares. The drone has been collecting uh, thousands of images, something in the range of 40,000 images, and it's also been collecting points which are used to look at the topography of the area. And from these two products, we basically have to process it into a high-resolution image of around 28 centimetres per pixel. These detailed maps allow residents to visualise their community in one go. Chapala villages were asked to locate their houses, potential shelters and evacuation routes. We get the knowledge from the community, which is essential, because you need to have the local knowledge to work out where things are for their village, what's important in their village, and what their understanding is of the hazards and the risk. In this region, where natural disasters occur regularly, the EU is helping the population at a community and national level to be more prepared. Some innovative technologies like drone usage seem to give great results in Western countries to know how, where and when to step in faster. We think this can be done here as well. This is why we appreciate and finance this kind of intervention. Some of them are still pilot projects, implemented in respect and harmony with local traditions. Advances in technologies are empowering citizens and decision makers to play a proactive role in managing risks and providing a more efficient and cost-effective disaster response.